A Crosby Ironson High School student was suspended yesterday after flying his Confederate flag on the back of his truck. Today, he and some supportive family and friends staged a protest outside of the school, urging them to let him back into class. Logan Gay has the story. Crosby Ironton High School senior Cody Nelson returned to school today with his parents and friends after being sent home from school for flying his Confederate flag on his car yesterday morning. The friends and family of Nelson believe the school was infringing on their rights of free speech. To me, it's a little bit like David and Goliath. It's like them saying that our policies supersede the Constitution. Nelson is only three days away from graduation and was afraid he would not be allowed to graduate because of the suspension. He and his family met with school officials to work out some sort of agreement. We went in there with a positive attitude today and not and to cause any problems with the school or anything. We went in there believing in what we believe in our, our Confederate flag and our American flag and respect for the school and ourselves and every student. After an hour long meeting with school officials, they were able to come to a mutual understanding. If Nelson abides by all the agreed arrangements, he will graduate with his class. He's in school. Oh, he's, he's going to school. finish school. He's going to graduate. And he's going to walk down with the rest of his class being proud of what he believes in and his flags and the Confederate flag. And they're willing to accept his beliefs and his rights to fly those with an appropriate distance of of the ground. Nelson and his family are very relieved of the outcome and proud that they stuck up for what they believed in. We have the right to be who we are. We should stand up for what we believe in and that's what this kid went for and I stood behind him 100% along with these fine folks that you should not stop fighting for what you believe in, well, no matter what it is. The superintendent's office was not willing to make a comment on the meeting today due to the Minnesota's Data Practice Act. In Crosby, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Crosby Ironton High School plans to update their policy on flags in the near future. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.